So, um, uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, my name is Alex Fritz Erfeld. I'm the CEO of um, Airsick Systems. Um, and um, I would like to talk about uh, the next generation drones, um, which is our topic. Um, we are a um, SME, we are a company based in, in Klagenfurt, and uh, we are a manufacturer of drones. Uh, and the team has been working together since um, 2014. Um, apart from our serial products, uh, we have um, a strong uh, development uh, capabilities. Um, so when it comes to either customizations or um, turnkey uh, developments uh, for customers uh, in terms of hardware and software. Um, and um, we believe that we have um, uh, compelling performance uh, specs of our drones, which is typically uh, shown in flight time up to 60 minutes and um, a payload capacity so the drones can um, carry up to uh, 10 kilos. Apart from that, um, they are equipped with redundancy. So we have um, uh, uh, systems for fail safety. If, if one fails, there's a second one available. And then all the, the wind and, and weather resistance. Currently, we are um, we are uh, present in, in six vertical sectors. Uh, the biggest one is um, surveying, mining, construction. Um, so everything where accuracy in terms of volume or area measurements is important. Then agriculture and forestry, uh, industrial research, that one is becoming more and more uh, important for us. Uh, and then um, uh, inspection and monitoring, that's about, um, uh, for example, in utilities, power lines, uh, wind, um, but also oil and gas or so large infrastructure, um, then search and rescue, everything uh, which has to do with the blue light sector. Uh, and then one of the legacy sectors is film and photo, which is one of the original um, uh, sectors we're present in. Uh, when it comes to our product range, we cover uh, drones in a spectrum up to 25 kilos. That's the um, category um, uh, that's, or let's say that's, that's the, the main categorization right now. So up to 25 kilos and then beyond. Um, and the range um, extends from uh, very small drones. So our smallest one is a 250 gram um, drone. That's the Air 4 Nano, um, which is a very small drone. Uh, then we have this medium sized drones of around um, a five, five to seven kilos. Uh, the Air 4 Rack, the Air 6 Rounder. And then we have the larger systems, um, which go up to a um, up to 25 kilos, uh, including payload. So why do we have this um, specialist um, orientation on on uh, industrial and commercial customers? Because we want to make the difference. And uh, what we are seeing more and more that um, commercial drone strategies become essential parts of many businesses. So not only the original businesses we saw in 2014 and onwards, but more and more companies are uh, looking into, uh, you know, how could they in integrate drone uh, systems into their day-to-day -day work and workflows. Um, and it's not surprising uh, if you look at the advancing uh, digitization, so the focus on digital data and services, the speed in which the data has to be um, presented and available, and also the shift towards uh, more towards the analysis rather than uh, the data gathering. Um, and um, what is required for that is uh, a tool which is reliable and uh, which is accurate. And um, that's what we are aiming to, to deliver to our customers. Uh, in terms of the products here, a few highlights, the Air 8, which is our heavier um, medium lifter drone, um, here equipped with LiDAR systems or laser scanners, uh, so we can build up a, a point cloud, a 3D point cloud of, of the surveyed environment. And uh, the important thing here is uh, that the system works smoothly, is fully integrated, has enough uh, flight time and power reserve, uh, which we are aiming to do with our air eight here. Um, some, some more um, applications here from the agricultural side, um, precise spraying, area spraying, um, and, and here's some logistic um, applications, uh, uh, which is displayed here. It's about 10 kilos on our air eight and an eight meter rope.
Now, the Air 4 is um, our latest um, serial product, so it is a very um, compact drone, um, but still very powerful, um, so you can uh, mount here um, up to uh, three and a half kilos, um, and it's, it's very compact, so you can basically put it in a hard case or a rucksack, um, and it's a very important um, a new component of our product range. Uh, and last but not least, the, the smallest of our drones. Um, it's a very tiny drone, um, comes from the tactical um, uh, tactical missions. Um, so it's, it's a real eye in the sky, um, rather than um, carrying heavy payloads. Uh, it gives you an overview from, from the air. Uh, and that's uh, 250 grams or less. Um, so it's the category, the smallest category currently for UAVs. Um, apart from our serial products, uh, I've mentioned already uh, development projects. So we have um, uh, focused more and more on industrial um, uh, customized uh, developments. So for um, uh, turn, so developing basically turnkey systems for uh, customers according to, to their specific uh, requirements. Um, and um, there comes also the term system of systems. Uh, which is um, uh, more and more important. I will come back to that on the next slide. Examples of system of systems would be in winter uh, wind energy, agriculture and forestry, um, in the oil and gas sector, uh, and also in indoor. So all of these examples are um, uh, projects and, uh, uh, on which we are working on. This would be in a classical a systems of system um, uh, project, drone swarm for unmanned inspection of wind turbines. Um, it is a project um, we are doing in the UK, um, basically having a, an unmanned vessel which carries uh, a number of unmanned um, uh, drones which inspect fully autonomously um, wind turbines, uh, the data is transferred uh, from offshore to onshore, and um, by the end of the project, this should be a end-to-end -end, uh, full autonomy. So I think I'm quite advanced with the time. Do we have some more time or? Um, I, absolutely, don't, don't worry about it. A few more minutes is not a problem. Perfect. So this is uh, another example um, uh, what we are doing. Um, this was for a uh, Croatian customer from the construction side. Um, some of you might know the, um, the Mount Uchka in, in, uh, um, here, uh, extending from Lovran. Um, and there is a, um, I think it's the longest cable car um, expected to be built uh, in Europe um, up to the uh, 1500 meters Mount Uchka. And uh, it has been quite difficult to survey because of the vegetation, because of the uh, elevation there we're talking about here is the uh, you can see a little bit of it here is the the coast the Croatian coast and uh, this is the top of the mountain and what you see here in red is the the corridor of this um, uh, of, of this uh, um, cable car track um, so it was extremely difficult to be surveyed um, and um, we did a lighter flight with our air 8 um, and you can see here the three starting points um, so it was very difficult. I mean, it's, it was okay to, to access from the bottom, but it was very difficult from, from the, the middle. And here you see a scene, um, how we helped the customer to um, uh, gather the data he needed. Uh, here's the drone and uh, the pilot is up here uh, on a 40 meter um, tower in order to survey and in order to monitor the flight. That's about it from our side. Here's our, um, our premises uh, in Klagenfurt. Um, that's the headquarters. We've got an office also in Germany and also in the UK. Um, yeah, and we would look forward to, to see you here or in Croatia or Slovenia um, if, if you're interested to meet with us. Thank you.